Okay, let's get straight into it. So I'm starting by braiding her hair down the middle and I'm gonna braid her sides going down and the back in a circle. Okay, now that we're done with the braid down, I just like to use vegetable glycerin um, and I put, put it throughout the whole, all the parts. Like, it's really thick. I really love it. It's good for your hair, your skin, and nails. Um, it's equivalent to castor oil, so it's really heavy and thick. But I just like to um, put it in between the parts while after the braids so that, you know, you retain some moisture after having a weave sewn in. Now this is just some leave-in conditioner that I like to use after I finish my braid down just to go the extra mile with moisture. So I didn't have any weaving net, so I used a weaving cap made for wigs um, to apply to the head. And this is so much easier because it fits the head perfectly and it, you can just cut around um, the hard areas and um, start sewing. So I'm just um, molding the edges back so that they're not in my way before I get to putting the closure down. So here I'm just taking my pressed powder just to create a fake scalp. Um, honestly, being that this is a closure, um, closure bang, you really don't need to put makeup on it. But um, just in case, you know, you're one of those people that's a little self-conscious and you feel like, oh, if the wind blows or something that is gonna be visible, you wanna apply it to the front of the um, closure. <laughs> Okay, so today for this closure bang, I will be um, won't be using any glue. I'll only be using um, got to be free spray, and I'll be sewing the closure down. Um, my client actually doesn't like glue, so I I didn't want to use any in her hair. And the fact that it's actually just a bang, you don't even need to glue this down. It's not necessary. This actually is a good way of giving your client's hairline a break and not using glue for a certain period of time if they still love to get installs but they just don't want to deal with the glue problems So now I'm just gonna sew down the closure really good. And I know you can tell that the front of the closure is not secured by any braid, but we're gonna solve that problem when we start sewing the tracks to it. Whether I'm using gel, glue, or got to be, I just like to put extra security and you wanna just put something on like a band or a wrap strip along the hairline just to really mold that in because while you're sewing, the closure sometimes slips back or you're pulling it a little bit and then that could really affect the finished product and you don't wanna have to go back 
when you're done and try to pull the closure forward. When you're sewing, you always want to bring that track all the way up to the closure and connect it. And then, um, I didn't show you here, but I always like to sew a few paces and then tie a knot so that if my client wants to get a reconstruction, it won't collapse the whole entire wig. I can literally cut the closure off and then reattach the ends of each track that's connected to the closure, if you get what I'm saying. Now it's time to take the band off and um, reveal how melted this closure is only using the got to be gel. Now also I want to disclose like the edges may not be down as tight as you want them but that's when you start to sew the track down you'll be able to control the tightness of the closure um, and the security of the closure. A hot comb is a must okay like you cannot do any type of wig install wig anything and not have a hot comb if you don't have a hot comb or stove top hot comb get you an electric hot comb as soon as possible or you can go to my website www.chicbythelayers.com and you can go to my products of the month and i have a full list of amazon my favorite amazon products that you should go out and buy that's our that are essential
All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment below. Um, subscribe, like, do whatever you gotta do so you can come back to my channel and see some more stuff and tell me what you would like to see um, and what I can provide and what I can help you with. Thank you. Bye.